When Bel Air finishing engineers begin to develop a process for deburring and or polishing a customer's component, regardless of the material or the manner of manufacturing, they must take into account all the part requirements and more importantly, the customer's manufacturing culture. There are many different ways to finish the same part. The following are five examples. The three-dimensional bowl vibratory tumbling method produces an isotropic finish. It is a lower cost solution with little or no maintenance. This is a batch process where a quantity of parts can be run at one time with a force of 1G and labor less than one minute per part. For most parts, we can achieve 70 to 100% of the necessary wet grinding and or dry polishing operation. The process time here is three to four times that of high energy finishing, but more effective than 2D tumbling. This method is a little tough to automate and has limited ability to do complex geometries. The centrifugal disc finishing method results in an isotropic finish. It is a more expensive solution with moderate maintenance. This is a batch process where a quantity of parts can be run at one time with forces of 5 to 10 Gs and labor time less than one minute per part. In most cases, we have done 90 to 100% of the handwork in a very short process time with the ability to do complex geometries. Disc finishing allows you to incorporate JIT and cellular platforms, as well as batch processing. Single digit RAs are possible this process is difficult to automate, but possible for certain instances. Centrifugal barrel finishing method is a slightly more expensive solution with low maintenance and also results in an isotropic finish. This is a batch process where a quantity of parts can be run at one time on fixtures or in separate compartments to avoid part-on-part -part contact during high energy finishing. A force of 10 to 30 Gs can be produced with labor less than five minutes per part. In most cases, we have done 90 to 100% of the handwork in a very short process time with the ability to do complex geometries. This process can incorporate JIT and cellular platforms as well as batch processing, but it is difficult to automate a process. Single digit RAs can be achieved and the system is very good for high polish surfaces. The vertical drag finishing method results in a directional finish. It is the same expense as high energy disc and barrel with low maintenance as well. This is a batch process where quantity of parts must be fixed on multiple tool holders. Drag finishing uses surface feet per minute of the media across the part surface as opposed to g-forces of pressure with labor usually less than two minutes per part. We can normally achieve 90 to 100 percent of the finishing requirement. Depending on the complexity of the geometries, this method can be advantageous to producing the required finish in a shorter process time than other techniques. It may be difficult, but not impossible, to incorporate JIT and cellular platforms, as well as batch processing, but it is difficult to automate a process. Single-digit RAs can be achieved, and the system is very good for high polish surfaces. The AutoHone reverse drag finishing method can produce both isotropic and five axis directional finishes. It is relatively more expensive than high energy disc and barrel with moderate maintenance costs. This is a single piece flow process where single parts are loaded into pallets. The finishing forces are multiplied by a factor of surface feet per minute with the ability to do complex geometries labor free, usually eliminating 100% of the handwork. This message produces the shortest process time with less process steps and the ability to achieve single digit RAs if required. It is very good for high polish surfaces. The process makes it easy to incorporate JIT and cellular platforms as well as one piece flow and is naturally automated. Applications span across the medical, aerospace, firearms and many other industries. The machines are only one part of the solution Media and compound choices are made with the machine technologies in mind as part of the overall solution along with metrology featuring white light non-contact aerial measurements.